I have officially destroyed my sleeping schedule. Hey internet, it's 2017. Happy New Year. Today I'm gonna do my December obsessions for you, but I have so many videos to do for you guys. I need to do this video, I need to do my year in review. Soon it's gonna be time to do my four years on YouTube video. And then I've just got like some other stuff that I really want to do videos for, so... Yeah, I guess like let's jump right into the year. I'm just gonna start off by saying that my energy level is a little bit low right now and that's just because I just got back from my trip that I'll talk about later, but we're gonna power through. So one of the first things is this book that I got for Christmas called So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. And it's basically a story about public shaming that occurs on the internet and specifically Twitter. And I'm, I'm not quite done, you can see. Uh, I've got a little bit more to go, but it's been really interesting and really kind of intense to read and made me think a lot about shame and forgiveness and like how we handle those things on the internet, especially with anonymity. I feel like I've heard so many people talk about this book since it came out. I really enjoyed it, so let me know if you've read it or if you're interested in reading it. Another thing that I talked about in one of my December videos was that I now am drinking hot coffee. What is this? I've been talking about drinking it for like over a year now, but I finally got to the point where I was drinking so much coffee and then it was like so cold that I had no choice. I mean, I'm still drinking like hot lattes and stuff. It's not coffee yet, but I will get there. So as many of you guys know by now, I just got back from a trip to Missoula, Montana. I didn't really tell many people that I was going and I didn't vlog while I was there and I'm really sorry. I know that some of you will be upset with that, but I, I don't know, it just wasn't a thing, I'm sorry. But it was an excellent trip, I had so much fun. And I had never been to that part of the country before, and so I was super obsessed with how beautiful Missoula was, and even in the like six inches of snow that were there and the really cold temperatures, it was just really pretty. The mountains with the snow on top of them, and I don't know, it was just like, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a cool place. And on top of that, Missoula is just populated with some really cool people. So yeah, I think I'm just a little bit obsessed with Missoula at this point. The final thing for December that I was obsessed with is organizing my luck. My mother's husband was the one that kind of made me aware of this concept. And it just is basically saying there are plenty of things in life that are out of your control. But for the things that are in your control, you can kind of set up your life in a way that it becomes more likely for the things that you want to happen to happen and less likely for the things that you don't want to happen happen. This is the thing that I've been thinking about and trying to do over several months, but particularly in the past month, I have just been trying to make it so that the things that I want are more likely to happen and so far it is going quite well. I think that organizing your luck is also something that like is psychologically helpful, so there is this issue with internalizing versus externalizing things and people that externalize a lot of things don't get the joy from the good things and don't learn from the bad things and so by kind of taking responsibility for things that happen in your life by saying like I did everything that I could to make this happen or make this not happen if you take that responsibility that means that like you learn and you get to feel responsible when good things happen and I don't know, I think that's a good thing. As just a general update on my life, since I've been including those in these videos, I am doing really well. Basically right now I feel like the complete opposite that I felt in July, which I am now referring to as the dark July because it's just like real bad. I had a great December and I am just really excited for a lot of the things that seem to be coming down the pike for the next year. I started today with my full days in the classroom, which I'm going to be doing for the next semester. Um, I'm spending the whole school day working with students every day rather than going in every other day, which I had been doing during the previous semester. So that's going to be a little bit tiring and time consuming, but I think it'll be good. I'm very, very excited for this year to come, but I will talk more about that in my year in review. All right, this is the thing that I did. Now I think I'm going to go take a nap. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. As always, leave me a comment down below to tell me what you were obsessed with during the month of December so I can find something to get obsessed with during the month of January. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.